Hello everyone, welcome to my show, 9AMD Fusion of Science and Beauty, right here in Beverly Hills, where I'm bringing you the best of anti-aging and regenerative medicine. And today, I've got a new technology to discuss, and a guest who's phenomenal at this. His name is Dr. Jason Kelberman. He's, a, a, he's actually a practicing chiropractor for over 30 plus years, and he's also a kinesiologist. And one of the, thank you so much, by the way, for coming on the show. My pleasure. Love I, to, I, love I to am so excited to really introduce the audience to you because so much of what we deal with, like what we call neuropathy pain, and that's nerve pain. A lot of people suffer from nerve pain. Um, a lot of people suffer from pain, you know, which is what you treat. And usually the typical things are pain medications, and we've heard some of the other latest, greatest, but generally pain medications and, and treatments of like the TENS unit, physical therapy, um, you know, those kind of things, acupuncture, those are generally the modalities that, w that we're looking at. Sure. And you have some, another amazing technology that you're using. People don't even know about this. I didn't know about it until I would say about eight years ago. And when I learned about it, I was just floored. I mean, it, 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 I can't even believe that some of these um, technologies exist that we are just not looking at or that we just don't go out and fund like a thousand patient study, right? Wouldn't just because be we can't, just yeah. because we can't fund a thousand patient study, it's like, okay, forget that technology. And something else which is less inferior, just because it got the funding for a thousand patient study, suddenly comes up and is the, it earns the validity, so to speak. Right. So please explain to the audience what it is that you're doing and, and just give them some understanding of it and, um, and maybe what you're treating that technology Sure, I'd be with. happy to. Uh, just a minute to, to yeah. give you an idea how the heck I got into this specialty. Yeah, how did you? Uh, uh, about eight years ago, like yourself, yeah. um, I've been using laser technology for 20, 25 years. And yeah. that, the advances in laser therapy are phenomenal. Yeah, We've gone from um, LED to, you know, remember the first device was like infrared yeah, and, and your LED. Your treatments took 30 to 45 <laughs> minutes because they were pretty, pretty weak. Um, but anyway, the, the point I was trying to make here is that I had that technology and I was accidentally helping people who had neuropathy. And so that kind of stimulated me to think, well, if I'm helping 10 to 20% of the patients who had it accidentally, what would happen if I actually delved into it, studied it, worked with all the neurologists and specialists across the country? Um, and thus, I think I was the first doctor of any kind in Los Angeles to publish a list of 52 drugs that cause neuropathy as a beginning point. And that's on our, oh on our website. So um, about 20 major categories of, of neuropathy. And, and I hope I don't leave too many out as I'm a little <laughs> so nervous. Yeah, no. But basically everybody thinks of, okay, diabetic neuropathy. Right, that's right. a lot common. Right. But most of the people don't know that statin drugs and cholesterol drugs cause neuropathy. Yes. And they're being pushed like nobody's business. Um, so along those lines, you as a metabolic doctor yes. know that as we age certain processes begin to degenerate Absolutely. so neuropathy in many cases is a global neural degeneration, degeneration. okay yes and you have to look at it that way if, yes. if you look at it like look at the underlying this mechanism one pill is going to fix it you're never going to figure it out yeah. because that's not how we are. We're human beings. We all have individual chemistries. We all have different ideologies and different bad habits and oh my so gosh, forth and so like on. you're like speaking to my, the choir. I mean, right. I, that's exactly what I go and right. indicate. Smoking will cause it. Hypertension will cause it. Um, autoimmune disease yeah. will cause it. Yeah. Um, chemotherapy for cancer will cause it very mm -hmm. commonly. Um, and, and, and that makes sense because these are accelerating what we call some of the neurodegenerative processes. Exactly. Biochemistry that's going on in the body. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. as a result of investigating that with doctors who began to specialize that across the country, I started to look into different modalities. And one of the modalities was produced by a company called Renewa Medical. Right. They had developed a piece of equipment that was treating diabetic ulcers. Right. And they found that this healed diabetic ulcers, which as you know, is a very difficult matter to happen because in diabetes, they, their circulation is poor. Um, and so what they found was that along the way of healing the ulcers, they were also helping the neuropathy. So, so it was like a side thing that so they learned. So they backed into it and I backed into it and started bringing all these modalities into play uh -huh. um, and getting 
some results with each one of them, and then um, because I'm board certified in integrative medicine, yes. I began to look at why some people healed well and actually regenerated the dying nerves and other people didn't. And I believe that it was the particular person not having the raw materials and not having the processes working that would enable that process because we heal ourselves if we take out all the interferences. You Absolutely. cut your finger, it's going to heal itself as long as it doesn't get infected and so forth. So I got pretty excited about that and um, began working with several other biochemical geniuses around the country, Dr. Michael Borkin and Carlsbad in particular. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. Um, and we started coming up with concepts and protocols and yes they kept changing all the time and my front desk staff <laughs> hates me for it but we kept getting better and better and better results to the point where we now help about 85 percent of the people who come in with peripheral neuropathy and of those 85 percent i would say 50 percent have amazing regeneration which is not supposed to happen the medical field what, says what you can't regenerate a nerve once it's in that state yeah what is it what is the what does it consist of it's basically hooking up some wires right um, and well, I combine the electrotherapy right. and the laser therapy. Exactly. So, so, you're combining so I'm the... combining both. So uh, let's take uh, diabetic neuropathy, for example. Okay. Um, what we think happens is as the red blood cells of a diabetic mature, they do not get smaller like everybody else. So they can't get to the distal periphery like exactly. you and they I can. They can't travel in all So that they lose yet. their circulation. Without circulation, there's no oxygen. Without oxygen, everything dies. You got it. <laughs> so yeah. that's why in a diabetic case that they have that issue. Um, the Renew a Medical device, um, which I just want to say one thing about because everybody asks me about electric stim units. The, right. the reason that this is so valuable yeah. and why it makes a big difference is because it has high voltage but extremely low amperage exactly whereas and most the low of the amperage tens, yeah. does not damage nerves whereas 90 percent of all the physical yeah, therapy the ten, equipment, and the tens unit is tens high units, amp muscle and stims and yeah. everything else yeah. the amperage is too high and everybody thinks exactly. well it's electrical it's all the same it's not it's not this is the right. point this is the whole audience please listen to this because high vo it's high, high voltage, voltage low amp low is amp. different from high amp and low voltage. Right. Uh, yeah. For example, a typical muscle stim is 110 volts and maybe 40 to 80 milliamps. Okay. Yes. This unit is 400 volts at two or less milliamps. Yeah. And that's what makes it safe to treat nerves in that way because they're very liable to electrical sti stimulation. So when you combine that with the proper nutrition that that person needs, yeah. you can, you know, I make the analogy, it's like going to your garden. You see a, a plant that's falling over you. you. We usually think of three things. Is it getting enough sun? Is it getting enough water? And are there nutrients in the soil? Well, why don't same. we do the same thing for people, for crying out loud? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We just, we just, we, because we've somehow lost that balance for people. We've just right. lost that insight. And, and we're living in a much more toxic environment. Yep. And we have to take that into consideration. That and, we're also, taking, and we're starting to take yeah. things unnaturally. Right. That, so that sometimes the medications are not so natural any longer to right. our body. And not, not to say there's a place yeah. for medicines, but really we need to look at other options or even adjunctively look at other options. You know, even when, it's, let's just say we are on medications. So yeah, no, I, I get it. Sometimes it's just a matter of reducing certain medications to their minimal point so yep. that they're less likely to be yep. a problem. Tell me, tell me, for example, um, a story. Give me a story. Some, some, okay, some, most recent yeah. case, 93-year-old yeah. um, male okay. referred by a neurologist. Got it. In a walker. Okay. Zero neurologic tests. We're, we're talking no sensory, no reflexes, no motor, oh just zero. Okay. Amazing that he could even walk in the door. Got it. I worked him up in the office. I, I decided that I was going to call the neurologist before I made a final decision because normally I don't take that kind of advanced case because it's very frustrating and the results are not usually as good. Right. So I didn't want to promise them anything. Long story short, after three months of therapy, he has full feeling in his feet. The neurologist did a repeat exam at her office and she found everything to be normal and wanted to know what the hell we did. What, how long was the therapy every day? Um, or, or was it every day? Tell yeah. me, like, what was the... My, my general program looks like this. I do four to six weeks intense therapy with them in my office three times a week, and then I graduate them to home care. Okay. Here's so where... Three times, so three times a week is how long? Like... An hour and a half per visit. 
So, wow. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, we're doing okay. significant therapy with that yeah, patient while they're there. Yeah. Comfortable, non painful, yeah, by yeah, the way. Got it. Um, at that point, they take one of the therapy units home. Yeah. Now they do home therapy daily or twice a day. So now they're getting seven days a week treatment on their own, convenient, cost effective, so forth and got so it. on. And it sets them up for being able to maintain themselves, got which it. I think is just as important yeah. these days. Wow. And that, and he's now got full and he's, is he still he's available? out of pain which you know the biggest issue with neuropathy is pain. pain you know we do see the genetic neuropathies who come in with just the numbness and atrophy and no pain those are kind of easier to live with although the lifestyle changes how, you know how, they can how, sleep <laughs> how, how, how do people look you up I mean how do how do they find you um, give us a website yeah give frequently us a phone they, yeah. They, they see me on Los Angeles neuropathy center.com yeah um, they, or they can call the office at 310 268 8008. Yeah, you practice in the West Side, Los Angeles. West Sarah? Side, Sepulveda National, just okay. just off the 405. It's convenient, free parking. Fabulous, and and they and they can just get hold of you that way, right? Absolutely. No, I'm I am I've refer, I've referred you, and I just think it's just phenomenal what the like just a story like this can be. And that's just one of many. I know, just one of many. You have to come back. My Again. pleasure too. Yeah, because we the, one of the other things I want to talk to you about how this machine not only helps neurop neuropathy but it can help other kinds of uh, yes, ailments. It does. And so I don't want to get into that because we're running out of time. But that's what the next show is going to be about. Fantastic. Okay, audience, you got that. So listen, um, we're going to be right back. Nine MD Fusion Science and Beauty in Beverly Hills. Again, bringing you the best of anti-aging regenerative medicine with a fabulous guest here. Thank you so much. My pleasure.